deploy Portal on OpenShift or another Kubernetes environment, we first need to upload the Portal images to a repository that is accessible from that environment. Now, OpenShift, as well as the other Kubernetes cloud providers, may have their own implementations of these repositories. But in this video, I will demonstrate how to upload the portal images to a private repository running in a Docker registry container. Looking at the documentation, we can see an image listing of all the portal images. For this video, I will be using the 9.5 CF192 images. The first step is to download the packages from the HCL software portal. For steps on how to locate and download the portal packages from the portal, please see my other video in the description below. Switching over to my Linux machine where the repository is hosted, we can see I've already downloaded the 9.5 CF192 package. So let me extract it. With the zip extracted, we can see the individual portal images. To upload the images to my private repository, I will use Docker. First, I need to load the images to my local Docker repository. To do this, I will use the docker load command with the I or the input option. I'll start with the core image. Since this is the largest image, it will take the longest. But once it's done, I can repeat the steps for all the other images. With that done, I can use the docker image ls command to see a listing of all my images in the local repository. Now to upload the images to my private repository, I need to tag the images with my private repository details. In my case, my repository is hosted on this machine and its hostname is repo.dx.com. So I will use the docker tag command and I'll start with the core image. I will tag it with repro.dx.com and then the name of the image. For the name, I will use core to be consistent with the original name, but I can name it whatever I want. We also need to tag it with a version number. For the version, I will use v95 underscore 192 to indicate portal 95 CF192. Again, I can use whatever I want here too, but tagging the image with a CF number will make things easier when I need to upgrade to a newer CF. Using the same naming convention, I can tag the rest of the portal images. With all the images tagged, I can use docker image ls to verify the images. Now to make things clearer, I'll remove the original portal images using the docker image remove command. And that looks better. With the images tagged with my private repository details, I can now upload the images using the docker push command. Again, I'll start with the core and then repeat the steps for the other images. Now, depending on how your private repository is configured, we may need to authenticate using the docker login command. For this private repository, it's a test repository for demo purposes only, and it's also located on my local network so I don't have authentication configured. However, if I was using an OpenShift or another Kubernetes cloud providers registry, I would have to authenticate appropriately to be able to upload.
With all the images uploaded, I can now check to see if the images were uploaded successfully and are accessible. First, this private repository is running as a Docker registry container as seen here. So I should be able to use curl to see the images. And we can see all the images are there. Next, I can use a curl command on a specific image, in this case, the core image, to see what tags are available. And we can see the 9.5 CF192 version is available. So that looks good. Next, I'll jump over to my local Mac and use docker pull command to try to pull the core image from my private repository. And that also appears to be working. With the download complete, I should now see it if I use the docker image ls command. And I do, so all that looks good. At this point, I can begin my deployment on either OpenShift or another Kubernetes environment and point my cluster to my private repository and use the image names and tags I set. Mm -hmm.